My name's Clive Groves. I'm a, a sort of retired nurseryman now, so I've got a little bit more time to, uh, to experiment with various things, something I haven't had in the past. And lately what I've been doing is experimenting with grafting. And uh, I've tried grafting um, these uh, twisted hazel, this is the purple version. I've grafted them here, as you can see, onto a long stem of the ordinary hedgerow hazel. So rather than just the usual sort of conglomeration of, uh, of branches, it should make them a little bit more elegant. Um, that's a long one, this one's a bit shorter. I've also tried, um, here we've got a current, and I've grafted a red current here. This is a graft onto a, a flowering current, just for something a little bit different. So you've got something for your tummy and you've got something to look at. This is Ribe's Odoratum uh, Aureum. And um, so that should be fun. And I've even sort of uh, played around with chilies. Um, I've got a Scotch bonnet chili here and um, I've grafted on a jalapeno. So um, here's the graft, it's taken quite well, as you can see. So um, I should be getting chilies, two types of chilies on the same plant, which has got to be very exciting. But today, um, what I want to try and I've heard about is grafting a tomato onto a potato. So you have tomatoes at the top and you have potatoes underneath. And uh, that sounded a pretty good idea to me. So, um, so I'm going to give it a go. Um, here we've got the potato. First of all, we've got to make sure that the potato is, is um, potted on because you don't want to pot them on after the graft's just been done. So um, let's just take it out of its pot here. And uh, look, you can see where the uh, potatoes have already started growing on this young plant. This is a cutting that I took last autumn. Uh, I took the cutting, um, the plants died down and shot up again in the springtime. And, um, and they give you a nice sort of single stem rather than sort of taking them from a potato uh, tuber. So let's just pop that on. We don't want to be playing around with them soon after the, uh, the graft has been done, which might just break that graft. So there we are, that's the potato. Now what we've got to do next is uh, find a tomato. And here we've got the tomato. Um, I'd suggest uh, that you don't take a, a very young tomato um, because if it's too young then you'll find that it would just wilt and, uh, and die. So you've got to give them a chance to harden a little bit um, so that they can um, so survive a little bit better, a better chance. I've tried several before and we've had a couple of, um, that haven't taken but I've also had some that have taken so uh, I'm learning by experience all the time. Now we've got to find two stems that look pretty much the same thickness. So let's just take off some of these off the potato so we can see what we've got here. Uh, take off the bottom leaves because later on those will be going all together. So this is going to form the root and it's going to form potato tubers. Hopefully. I'll take you and show you one that I did earlier on that's been growing for a few months later on. And uh, you can just see what's happened. Um, okay, so I'm looking at the tomato now, and I'm I'm looking that around about here, uh, it's about the same thickness as this one here. So uh, yeah, about that same thickness as that. So I'm going to cut that off. That's a potato. They would always grow again. Um, this little shoot side shoots come out, so you've not necessarily lost this one. This will grow now, and uh, you'll have a new um, tomato plant again. Now, what we're doing now is just paring that off. Uh, we've got to take the potato. Let's cut that one off. Now. What we've got to do now is to, to cut a wedge shape into this, exactly the same width as the other. So there's one. There's the other. I'll elongate that a bit more because this has got to marry up with the other side. That's that. Now we've got to just make a cut here, just a straight downward cut. 
same length as the tomato and hopefully we get contact it's looking pretty good you see you've got contact here so that's got to marry up the cambium layer on both sides move that over a little bit better seen just there actually okay so obviously it's a bit floppy at the time so what we've got here is a cane just to hold it temporarily for the moment while we get a tape now what I use here is uh, it's called gutter purge it's used in the florist trade it's nice and stretchy so if I take off a bit of this you'll find it stretches thinly and now we can use this to, to start to wrap it up with just one last check so trying to keep the air out and keep the moisture in then this plant this potato will start to use the tomato for its leaves to photosynthesize and the tomato will start to use potato for its roots so we've got that there Let's stop any moisture coming out now this is also some sticky tape which is floral sticky tape just to make sure it stays in place now also what I like to do is now take the green cane and stick that one on as well just for a bit of support so there we are mission accomplished obviously water this now um, but I said earlier on I'll take you to show you one that I did earlier on in the season so uh, let's go and have a look at that see how that one's doing okay right hello um, well here we are then uh, nice and colorful we use the tagetes to sort of help as a deterrent against um, uh, white fly and green fly and that sort of thing um, it's uh, it certainly helps quite a bit um, now here's the grafted plants as you can see right down here um, this is a graft I've just taken it off earlier on um, but you can see that it's been completely successful there's a few sort of uh, roots and aerial roots here but uh, the plant is now relying totally on the potato roots and the potato is relying totally on the tomato leaves and uh, it's just starting to, to come red now um, and what we'll do is we'll come back in the autumn and um, when hopefully we've picked the crop of tomatoes and uh, we'll tip the uh, tip the pots out and um, see if we've got any potatoes. If so, we know that mission has been accomplished. Thank you very much indeed.